Flashlight and, and the wind came together and turned into this huge shadowy figure. It was between us in the edit lab, and then I said, Guy! 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 What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? him out when I had the chance. No, it's it's not your fault. How did we escape? You sure you want me to continue? Yes, just tell me. You sure you don't? Just get on with it. All right. There was a flash and a sound like thunder. He was gone. That's when you said, no! It turned and started to come at us. It's coming. We gotta run. Marco! I never really got a good look at it. We were in the basement and all I could see was its red eyes. And each time I put my flashlight on it, the light just seemed to go right through. Like a shadow. Ugh. Anyway, I could hear it bounding towards us like that. That thing was fast, man. We were able to get into the bottom floor entrance and I just got the door open. <laughs> the wind was strong enough to lift you off your feet. Open the door! knocked you out. I don't know what it was about opening that door, but but something scared it off. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is the last place we were, so I just, I just thought, yeah, well, anyway. Heather? Margo? Where are you? God, I don't even know where I am. <sighs> okay, calm down, Samuel. Everything is going to be just fine. This must be the third floor. Talking to myself. <laughs> I really came to this, huh? Who's there?
Gotcha. What? But it's it's just another mural. No, 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 no. Don't give up on me now. Oh crap. It's dead. But there's no power. <laughs> Andrew, can you hear me? Samuel, Samuel, run. What? It's coming. Andrew? Andrew! <sighs> I can't do this. No, hide. no more voices. Don't, don't want me to hide? hide? It's, it's here! Hide! hide. Something I need to tell you. Something I've known about for a while, but I haven't been able to tell you. That creature is what killed your sister. It's the boy from earlier. Uh, hello? I can hear him. I'm going insane. I can't... I, ca I can't see anything! <laughs> he seems rather mad. You're rather mad. I know, isn't it fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Can't get these voices out of my head. In your head? We're not in your head. We're right in front of you. What? Come. Come closer. Oh, uh, okay. Closer? Almost there. Reach out your hand. But this is just the... the wall. I'm right here. <gasps> <laughs> but... but how? How can you be... Oh my god, you! Y you're the murals? Yes, we are. Uh, who are you guys? <laughs> uh, my name is Brett. You saw me in the edit lab. My name is Gabrielle. There is another like us named Vanessa. She should be along soon. Vanessa, Gabrielle, and Brett? Those names sound familiar. Wait, yes! Vanessa, Gabrielle, and Brett, the three other lost kids. Heather mentioned you. Yes. Uh, this is what we've become. Ah, but this has returned from watch. Margot and Heather are in the weight room. I can confirm it. However, Margot wants to go find Andrew. It's the new kid. The Toronto kid? 
Um, my name is Samuel. Heather and Marco are alive? Yes. We do not have much time. Heather may have escaped from, as you call it, the creature, but she is still in very grave danger. Wh what How? As long as she is with Margot, she is not safe. You must get her away from Margot as soon as possible. Before Heather ends up like, like, like us! Wh wh what do you mean? How is Margot dangerous? Margot was the one who sent the letter inviting you here. When I left her, she was telling a lie. A lie she knew Heather would buy. But why? What lie? A lie about the reason Heather's sister Cynthia vanished. And a lie about what happened to her after that. How do you know that? Because three years ago we were friends of Margot and Cynthia. It is the three of us and Margot who were responsible for the accident that led to Cynthia's death. The creature trapped us here to punish us for this act, but Margot got away. She witnessed us being captured, imprisoned in this torturous state, and yet she abandoned us. I cannot say what she is planning to do, but I can tell you she knows much more than she's letting on. That's why she invited you here. If I had to guess, she is planning something for Heather. You must get her away from Margot. Wait, so you and Margot are responsible for Cynthia's death? In a sense. What, what does that mean? I mean in the sense that Cynthia may be dead, but she is not gone. What? Margot told Heather Cynthia was killed by the creature, but that isn't true, because Cynthia is the creature. What? What I did years ago was wrong. Now is my chance to do what is right. We must find Heather and save her from becoming like us. Just one more thing though. You said Margot invited us here. How do you know that? I was Margot's friend for ten years and in that time came to learn she is a very crafty person. She is not above forging letters to send people, and my guess is she made a letter for herself to throw you off, to draw suspicion away from her. Just like her to do something so grandiose. And trust me, we've been keeping a close eye on all of you since the moment you entered, and there was never any mysterious letter sender lurking around here. Now we really have to go. But how can I go anywhere? My flashlight is dead. I, I can't see anything. We like the way. You can glow? Yes. Now hurry. Oh, I must be going crazy. You knew this all along and you never told me? You never told anyone. I spent years looking for her. You knew how important she was to me and you never told me. Heather, please. How could I have told you? Do you really think you would have believed me? Hey, Heather, a shadowy monster killed your sister. You should have told me. Heather, let me tell you the full story. Fine. Three years ago, as you know, I was friends with Cynthia. She used to sit with me and my friend. Vanessa, Gabrielle, and Brett, right? Yeah, we had met the year before, and all of us had clicked quite well, and everything seemed to be going smoothly. But that year in particular, it had been, well, quite weird. I mean, you remember, of course, the whole insulation situation, and Mr. Typher going missing? Obviously, this was turning out to be a strange year. That's when it came. The thing. The creature that attacked us. For some reason, it went after us. It wanted us. Your sister was the first to go. It was the second week of April. That night, she had told me she was stressed and that she was going for a walk. That's why she went out. Yes, it must have gotten her when she went outside. After her, it took Brett. Then Vanessa told me she had been speaking with Gabrielle in the hallway. Gabrielle was sad about the disappearances and went into the bathroom to compose herself. That's when she disappeared. After that, Vanessa and I didn't spend time with anyone else. We were scared for our lives. Eventually it found us. We tried to hide in the bathroom. I thought this was it. It took Vanessa. I can't really describe how it happened, but one minute I could hear her in the stall next to me, and the next she was gone. I ran out of the stall and towards the wall. I held it beside the bathroom mirror, waiting for it to end. It turned to look at me, and then... That thing, it, it screamed in pain. So that's what happened. And believe me, we wanted to tell people. But how about you trying to explain to the police what took a 14-year-old girl was a shadow monster thing? 
reason to the cops. I care that you didn't even talk to me. You didn't even try. I'm trying now, aren't I? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have told you, okay? But I didn't know how, alright? I was scared you'd think I was a wacko. Maybe I should have had more faith. this hellhole. Yes, exactly. You see? There is definitely something going on here. Plus, Samuel and Andrew are still out there, and we need to find them. And whoever sent this letter, that's the key to all of this. What? What are we gonna do? We barely got away last time. Andrew was talking over the PA system, so we should go to the office and check it out. See if we can find any clues. And we'll need to bring a mirror with us. When it attacked me, the mirror seemed to bother it, make it lose focus. It allowed me to escape. That's why I told you to come here. Because the weight room is lined with mirrors. So that's why it ran when I opened the door. <coughs> God, it's dusty in here. Andrew! Andrew, are you in here? Let's have a look around. Weird seeing this place empty. Yeah, there would always be people weaving in and out. Now it's just still. Anyway, let's get on with it. The sound system should be behind the front desk. Good morning, nice. What's the capital of Spain? <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> Anyway, let's see if we can get this thing to work. The whole system is covered in cobwebs and dust. It couldn't have been touched since the school closed. But he spoke. We heard him. He had to have somehow. I don't know, but we heard him. In a hospital bed she lay. Her family It's Andrew! Children. Andrew, can you hear me? Andrew, are you okay? Where are you? Her family What's he saying? It's a poem that our grandmother used to tell us. Why is he reciting it now? I don't know. Andrew! Andrew! Where do you think he's speaking from? I don't know what's happening to him. No time. She's on her way. Remember what grandma said. Andrew! Andrew! He meant the creature's coming. No time for chatter. Do you still have Travis's crowbar halves? Yeah, they're in my bed. But it didn't do Travis any good. Good. You'll be our bait then. What? Trust me. I've dealt with this thing before. You're new to this. I'll be on mirror duty, you'll attract it in, and I'll come out with the mirror. And then what? We just pump it for info? Marco, this is a phantom trying to attack us. Surely there's a better way. Got any better ideas? Didn't think so. Now let's get a move on. All right, you stand there by those lockers in front of the office, and I'll hide in the alcove in the gym entrance. Uh... Trust me. I won't let anything bad happen to you. Whatever you say. Start making some noise. Nothing's happening! Just keep going! 